nice thing with the, the sort of the humanoid form factor is that you get application areas for free. Uh, so unlike designing to a specialized application, we're designing to a set of abstract capabilities. So with Digit, we actually, and this is version two, so there's a version one that we have some video online of from earlier this year, and version three, which is coming out in February. By designing to a set of abstract capabilities, we were able to do things like pull OSHA specifications for how heavy are you allowed to lift a box in an industrial setting, how high are staircases allowed to be. And so this is really designed to provide that set of capabilities, which allows us to then map onto task spaces, like in this case that we're showing with Ford, loading and unloading a vehicle. The vehicle has a tailgate, which is designed for you to be able to place stuff in the back. So with a robot that has about your body mass, about your height, you're able to do that task without any additional special modifications. So this is basically a, a beta product. V3 is the release candidate. With V2 to V3, it's mostly bug fix in nature. So you know, cleaning up electronics, gremlins, and, and that kind of stuff. Not a lot of technical changes on the, the public facing side of the robot. Ford is working on a variety of applications, both last mile and other sort of warehousing and industrial side. What we're showing here is actually more of the industrial side, so the vehicle loading and the vehicle itself may be autonomous or non-autonomous depending on the application that's being done. We try whenever possible to maintain sort of hard firewalls to force the API development to mature. So in this case, there really is kind of a hard firewall between the robot and the vehicle, as opposed to designing it to only function as an integrated system. You can have the vehicle and the robot be useful separately, which to us is a pretty important part of having an overall functional system. With the caveat that I'm not speaking on behalf of Ford, Ford is showing a very large comprehensive mobility pitch here. So this is part of that, that there are environments that wheels can't get over. There are environments that were designed only for people or legacy environments that you know are not disabilities accessible. And so legs are part of an overall portfolio that would be a comprehensive mobility solution.